There are three foods you can eat daily, and the research shows that aging virtually stops. It's very powerful research. I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm also going to explain to you why the heck I took my shoe off and put it on the counter. This is going to come in handy in just a moment. I wanted a demonstration for you, but three very powerful foods and mechanisms that if deployed properly can significantly slow down that feeling of tiredness, stiffness, old age that you could be experiencing or are scared of experiencing. Let's dive into what the research shows those foods are. Number one, out of the gate, curcumin. Curcumin is the main active compound found in the root turmeric. It may slow aging by activating certain proteins and protecting against cellular damage inside of your body. Now I put the reference to this study below, but turmeric has been shown to stop the process that's called cellular senescence. And this is a phenomenon characterized by the stopping of cell division inside of your body. So you're ultimately made up of trillions of cells and these cells replicate every single day. You get new skin every 14 days. You get a new stomach lining every six months. These roll over inside of your body and create new cells. But when a cell has been copied and then there's been a copy of the copy and then there's been a copy of the copy of the copy, you know, it's like one of those dub tapes you used to make as a kid. So. Maybe you can remember this back, maybe yourself or your kids taking tapes in the CD player. So the CD player came with a tape and you could play the CD and record it onto the tape or play the radio and record it onto the tape. Then if your buddy or your friend had a recording of that, you could take your tape and dub it onto another tape. But every time you did this, there would be a little bit lesser of a version, be a little bit of a hum on there. There'd be a little bit of background noise that would happen, meaning the copy wasn't quite the same. The same thing could apply if you have and printed off a piece of paper, a sign Sign, right? And then you made a copy of the sign. It wasn't quite the same, right? It lost the coloration. It lost the, the, the it got a little distorted. But then if you were to take that copy and then photocopy that and turn it in, you, you, you lose a little bit with each copy that you make. Your body, your cells are the same way. You're losing a little bit of ink. You're getting a little bit more distorted. And then eventually there's no more copy to be made. There's nothing else that the body can make out from it. That cell is now locked down. That's cellular senescence. And it can be initiated by a wide variety of stressors, including uh, environmental factors, internal damaging effects, abnormal cell growth, oxidative stress, autophagy factors. It, it just gets too bogged down with toxicity inside of your body. Many other things cause the cells to go to the state, meaning the cell no longer replicates. You're no longer making, if that's your skin cell, new skin. But recent studies show that curcumin helps eliminate senescent cells. It increases the length of the telomeres, which I'm gonna talk about in just a moment because it's very important. That's why I have my shoe up here. And autophagy, meaning the cleanup, the recycling. I have a whole video on this channel about autophagy of how it cleans up the garbage inside of your body. And in one animal study, now these are always done in animals first, then up to humans. It was actually showed it extended the average lifespan by 26%. Now I know that's in an animal, but can you imagine if you're doing something like turmeric with curcumin for a lengthy period of time, could you possibly be adding 10%, 15%, 20% more years, quality years to your life? The accumulating evidence indicates that curcumin helps stave off the aging process. So I believe it's one nutrient root food that needs to go into the body every single day, let alone its abilities to reduce inflammation in your body, which is an aging process in itself. The only drawback with curcumin, it is very poor with oral bioavailability, meaning it doesn't get absorbed very well when you eat it. Now, what a lot of people will tell you to do is take black pepper with it. Now, pepperine or black pepper does increase the absorbability of turmeric, but it does it by irritating your stomach. If you have an autoimmune condition, that's the last thing you'd want to do. If you have inflammation, that's the last thing you'd want to do to irritate your stomach to, to get the thing absorbed so the body can pay attention to it. So what's the solution? You emulsify it. And when it's emulsified, it's in a layer of fat and that actually gets 30 times more absorbed into your blood so that it can have this anti-aging, antioxidant, anti-inflammation effect on your body. So emulsified turmeric is what you'd be looking for. I had to reach far and wide and really study it and lean into the research to find a proper one that would hold up to blood absorption. I put a link to it down below. Let's go to the second food you should be eating every day to slow or stop the aging process. Next, we're going over to fish oil. New research suggests that omega-3 fish oil has a direct effect on the biological aging of your body by 
slowing down the rate at which the protective caps on the ends of your chromosomes, your DNA, the makeup of your body, your genetics, it protects the caps of the DNA from getting shorter. So over time when you age, it's like wearing down. It's like a fuse of your body is and one day it's over, right? But to slow down that, to make it a slower burn, to protect these caps, that is what omega-3s do and it'll slow the aging process. These are copied strands of DNA. They have a similar function to bookends or to shoelaces. You know the little end on your shoelace? It's got that little kind of tape around it, right? You can imagine that as your telomere. Now, when you copy it, right? If I were to make a new shoelace out of this, I would have to leave part of this plastic piece, right? And try to tear off another piece and then make a new, cut the, cut the shoelace and make a new one if I were to do that and MacGyver it together. Then the end, the telomere would be shorter. Every time it reproduces, it gets a little bit shorter. So as you roll over cells for the aging process, you're shortening the telomeres. If the telomeres get too short, then the DNA is now damaged and then the cell stops dividing. So you see how what we talked about with curcumin and turmeric, the cell sesenance and these telomeres are very tightly woven together. So what stops them is when the telomeres are too short. So in this way, the telomere acts as the biological alarm clock or the fuse. The rate at which the fuse burns can vary between both individual people and individual cells. So this is believed to have an impact on age-related disease. In fact, US scientists conducted research looking at the effects of omega-3 fatty acids on the shoelaces, on the fuse, on the telomeres. And they looked at how they shortened. They took 608 people in a hospital outpatient setting that had heart disease. So they just focused in on the number one chronic disease in the world. At the start of the study, they measured the length of the shoelace ending, of the fuse, of people's white blood cells. So how big were the telomeres of the patients in their white blood cells? The blood levels of two fish-derived omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA, were also measured. So how much omega-3 did they have in their system that would be dictating inflammation? And what kind of impact is that going to have on the white blood cells? And then how is that going to impact the reproduction of white blood cells and the telomeres in the DNA? Here's what they found. They followed these people for five years and they retested them. And they showed a clear connection between those that intook EPA and DHA, two of the best anti-inflammatory, DNA-supporting, anti-aging omega-3s that there are. The people that took the most omega-3 EPA and DHA had the least amount of telomere shortening. The patients consuming the least amount of omega-3 had the fastest telomere shortening or the fastest aging process. The findings raise the possibility that omega-3 fatty acids may protect against cellular aging in patients with coronary artery disease, let alone other chronic diseases. So how do we properly get these in? Well, the focus for anti-aging is EPA and DHA. So finding a high concentration of that, a lot of fish oil contains triglycerides, it contains other fatty uh, acids and other fillers. Well, when you filter that out, you can concentrate the amount of EPA and DHA in still a swallowable supplement form. So it's not a huge supplement to take down. And that's what I had to search a lot for to try to, try to figure out how can you concentrate that. I had to go all the way back to the discoverer of omega-3s, Dr. Dyerberg, who discovered EPA and DHA. And now we understand that's actually tied to anti-aging. Um, but he found a way to concentrate those forms. Now I put information about that type of concentrated omega-3 below, and it works even more powerful get this, when you combine it with emulsified turmeric, the two of them help each other to get absorbed, which gives you a double dose of anti-aging. Let's go to number three. Number three isn't specifically a food, but the tie of how you eat your foods and when you eat your foods. What has been shown now is you can create a war inside of your body by eating and over-consuming, which is constantly calling upon insulin to try to store energy. A lot of times it's being stored as fat, try to figure out how to burn energy and it's bogging down your liver. But also the combinations of food that you eat can create a war in your stomach of, is it a carbohydrate and I need to produce the enzymes and the acid to break down a carbohydrate? Or is it a protein, which then I have to produce a completely different set of enzymes and a completely different concoction of 
acid to break down a protein, let alone fat, which just sits in the stomach for a while and gets broken down in the small intestine when the liver goes to work. So when you are eating the old meat and potatoes, you are not only spiking your insulin levels with the starches, or if you're doing the meat and pastas with the carbohydrates, but you are giving the stomach a double job. You are asking it to work double shifts to break down both the protein and the carbohydrate that takes its toll on your body very quickly. So what's the solution here? What are we saying? Well, the more we overconsume, the more we overtax our body and put it into an advanced aging process because it's spending all of its time processing the food and it never gets into what we call autophagy, which is the cleanup of the garbage, the recycling, the, the scraps. It's always being provided with fresh raw material in food and it never uses the scraps and cleans itself up. Also, if we're making it double work by combining the wrong types of food, we're overworking it, which is going to make you age faster. So ideally, if you're going to have a meat-based meal, you would have it with vegetables and fruits. If you were gonna have a heavy carb-based meal, breads, potatoes, pastas, you would omit the protein and just have it with vegetables or fruits. Now, this is an age-old principle of meal combining that could really slow that down, so you may try that. The other way to do it is to put your body through fasting, so it's not digesting anything. It gets a break, it gets a chance to recycle, refresh, and keep you rejuvenated, and it is one really, easy technique to put into place to allow your body to age at a pace that you're more comfortable with. If you want some help on how to implement what we call rotational fast so that you don't plateau with fasting and you get the most out of its anti-aging effects, I did an entire training and a guide on it and I put that video for you right here.